What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be going over how to edit the meta description for your homepage and for your overall Shopify store. So when customers are discovering you on Google, when they're searching your brand name, you're going to have your desired meta description show up describing the customer or to the customer what your brand is about and what you're selling, making it really easy to find you. So with your meta description, it's simply going to show up under your website here, describing to the customer what your site is all about. So we're going to go over how to do that today. It's overall, it's fairly easy. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. Also how to write a good meta description. So make sure you stay to the end of the video. Before I dive into it, I just want to thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's going to come with a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything out for yourself. And I'm going to show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. First, let's go over how to write a good meta description. So this is coming from Google itself. A meta description tag generally informs and interests users with a short relevant survey of what a particular page is about. They are like a pitch that convinces the user that the page is exactly what they're looking for. There is no limit on how long a meta description can be, but this snippet is truncated in Google search results as needed, typically to fit the device width. We mainly want to make it relevant for the customer to show exactly what they're looking for. So now we know how to write a meta description. Let's head into Shopify. So this is our testing store here. So the way you navigate or navigate to the meta description section is on the left hand side. You want to head to online store. This is going to show up several navigation options here. <clears throat> we want to head down to preferences at the bottom. This is going to show a few things, but what we care about is the top here. So let's see title and meta description. So Shopify is going to max this out at 320 characters. So it's going to fit nicely in a Google search site. This testing store is going to be out camping and summer and surfing. And so our site name here is going to be ultimate surf shop. And so I'm just going to write best store for surfing lovers. Something simple here. So this store is going to sell surfboards, surf gear, as well as maybe lessons on how to surf. So I'm gonna to try to fit that all here in the meta tag description. So I'm giving the customer a relevant description of what the store is gonna be about. So I just wrote something quickly here. So it's find the best deals on surf gear, surf boards and body suits. So describing what the store is gonna sell. We have everything you need to get surfing even if you have no experience. So kind of addressing the typical customer that this store might have. And we also offer online lessons on how to surf and how to become an advanced surfer. Overall, this is really gonna depend on your Shopify store and what you're selling. So really, we're just trying to convince the customer or show the customer that the user page they're about to load is exactly what they're looking for. So you really wanna do a good job at describing your Shopify store here. So overall, super easy. We went over how to add meta descriptions and edit them for your Shopify store, as well as how to edit the title tag. We also covered how to write good meta descriptions here as well as going over a quick example. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below as that really helps the channel out as far as the YouTube algorithm goes. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Lastly, I want to mention ProfitCalc again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. There's a link in the description to get a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything out for yourself and skip the spreadsheets and get back to growing your business. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.